What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our college football channel. We continue with our 2023 predictions. The Tennessee Volunteers are up next coming off of a, a program changing season last year. Uh, I mean, Tennessee's now looked at totally different than they were just a few years ago. And here are some of the predictions for them coming into the season. The FBI is not as high on them. They're at 8.2 and 3.9. So like eight and four is their projection. Athlon has them at nine and three. The over under is at nine and a half. So there's a big difference there with Vegas and the FPI. Vegas thinks nine and three or 10 and two. Those are the two most likely records. FPI has them at eight and four again. And Athlon's right in the middle of that at nine and three. Uh, this is a team that I think is going to be really good. I think Joe Milton's going to have a great season. A lot of weapons around him. Uh, this offense is going to be really explosive. It's going to be one of the best offenses in the country once again this year. Now, the defensive side is where you have some questions. We'll see how that plays out. Um, they weren't great on defense last year, and they still had a great season. So I'm, I'm not real concerned. I think we'll see some improvement there on that side of the ball. How much? You know, if it's a lot, if they improve a lot on, on defense, then this team could potentially knock off Georgia, could win the SEC West East, uh, and get to the SEC Championship but can they improve that much? We'll see. So let's get into the schedule, and I'll give you my predictions. They open up with Virginia in Nashville. That'll be an interesting neutral site game there. Um, Virginia's not going to be very good. They'll fight hard, I'm sure, but uh, Tennessee should roll in this game. I don't expect it to be close at all, and I do think they'll beat Austin P. obviously, as well. So 2-0 start here for Tennessee. Then they play on the road at Florida on September 16th. I think people are, are kind of writing off Florida just because that you know you see a lot of teams on the rise and Florida doesn't really seem to be one of those teams. Uh, they have a really tough schedule this year and I think it's going to be a rough season for them. But when you just look at the talent on these two rosters, Florida is not. I mean, they're going to be able to match up with okay with Tennessee. They're playing at home. It's in the swamp. I expect Florida to play really well, play really hard. Um, they, they'll probably use a strategy and I think a lot of teams will do this to Tennessee. They'll use the strategy of running the football, trying to control the clock, and, and they'll probably make this game interesting. But I, I do think Tennessee is going to be too good. I think Tennessee will make the plays when they need to. I trust Tennessee a little bit more. I think they win this one, and they get to 3-0. After that, they'll play UTSA at home. Uh, this is not going to be – look, UTSA, UTSA is going to be pretty good. Frank Harris is back at quarterback. This is a team that some people are putting in their preseason top 25s. Um, I didn't go quite that far, but I do think they will be a solid team. Uh, maybe, honestly, a better team than Florida. And so I think that this will be a, an interesting game. I think UTSA probably keeps it close for a while, but I do think the, the offensive firepower for Tennessee uh, allows them to kind of pull away in the second half. But not a blowout. I think UTSA will compete. It'll be fairly close, at least for a while. But Tennessee, again, does wind up pulling away. They win by... 14, 17 points kind of in that range, and they get off to a 4-0 start. Next up, it's South Carolina on September 30th, a revenge game for the Vols. I think they will be really fired up for this one after the way they lost last year. So I expect them to come out and play um, one of their best games all year. I think they actually win big in this one. I don't expect it to be close. I think Tennessee scores a lot of points, and they win by a lot. 5-0 start there for them. Going into the month of October, they get a bye week before playing Texas A&M. Pretty nice spot for a bye week here. Um, you look at Texas A&M, though, this is a team that it's going to be able to match Texas, uh, or probably be better than Tennessee at the line of scrimmage. And so that does concern me a little bit if I'm a Tennessee fan. But what concerns me about Texas A&M is the secondary. Can they slow down the passing attack for Tennessee? If Texas A&M is going to win this game, it'll have to be probably with getting pressure on Joe Milton. Um, at least on the defensive side, that's what they're going to have to do. Um, it should be a good one. I think it'll be a close game. I think it'll be a, a pretty even matchup. Uh, playing at home, though, I've got to go with Tennessee. I think they win this one in a close one and get off to a 6-0 and start before playing Alabama. Talk about revenge games. Of course, this is a big one for Alabama after losing in Knoxville last year. Uh, I think Alabama really will be really focused in for this one rivalry game both teams are going to play really hard they're going to play really well you know they always do um i think nick saban probably spent a lot of time this offseason working on uh, trying to, to figure out how to stop this tennessee offense because they really torched alabama last year um, i think you'll have a really good game plan will it be enough uh, i don't know but i'm going to say with with nick saban and his mind and the home field advantage i think alabama finds a way to win this game 
It'll be close, but I'm going to say Alabama gets it done at home and Tennessee loses their first game of the season. A tricky game after that, playing Kentucky on the road. I know Tennessee went out and they embarrassed them last year, and it was a game that was kind of hyped up, thought it was going to be a, a big game, and they went out and just embarrassed Tennessee um, at home. This time it's on the road. Kentucky, I think, will be much more prepared this time. I expect them to fight hard in this game. I just don't think it's going to be enough. I think Tennessee's offense is too good. They score too many points, and they beat Kentucky on the road, but much, much closer than last year's game. Gets them to 7-1, then they play UConn on the 4th at home. They should be able to take care of business here and win pretty easily, and that will improve their record to 8-1. and one. After that, it's on the road at Missouri. This is, I tell you what, Missouri plays several teams in in positions where Missouri has a chance to to spoil team seasons, to, to pull off some big upsets. I think they play LSU right before a big game. I can't remember the exact spot at home. They have Tennessee here right before Georgia, right before their biggest game of the year. Uh, so I think Missouri will be ready for this one. I expect them to come out, and, and it'll be similar to the Missouri-Georgia game last year. I think Tennessee, I, I trust them a little bit more when it comes down to the final plays of the game, when they need to score. I think Tennessee is able to get it done, but I expect a close one-score game, potentially an upset. If they're going to get upset somewhere, I think this is it, but I'm going to say Tennessee survives. They beat Missouri, and then they go into the big game against Georgia. They get them at home this year. You know, I've talked about that game last year where Tennessee missed some deep shots. They they had opportunities in that game. Georgia played them man to man. They they went one on one with those corners and and Tennessee they they beat their receivers beat the DBs for Georgia. Uh, Hendon Hooker just missed some passes that really should have been touchdowns. Will Joe Milton hit those passes? Well, I think Tennessee probably does hit some of those passes. They'll be playing at home. They'll be playing with more confidence. Uh, I think they're going to really challenge Georgia. But when it comes down to the end of the game, I just I, I trust Georgia a little bit more. I think the talent level of Georgia winning at the line of scrimmage, Kirby Smart and his his play calling on defense, they make some plays, maybe forced a turnover late. Georgia gets it done, but a very close game. Very close. I think it'll be much closer than last year. And I wouldn't be shocked. I would not be shocked if Tennessee pulled off that upset. But I've got to go with Georgia. And that gives Tennessee their second loss of the season. After that, it's Vanderbilt at home. Uh, Vandy, of course, starting to play a little bit better, and I think they'll be, you know, they'll be up for this game. And, and for a quarter, it'll be fairly close. But Tennessee, uh, as long as they don't have a hangover from the Georgia game, I think they'll be uh, ready to go. They'll they'll blow it open in the second half and win big. And I don't really expect this game to be all that close. So ten and two is my prediction. Same record as last year. Could they possibly beat Georgia or Alabama and get to 11-1 and and be in that playoff conversation? Well, I think they could, but again, they could also lose to Missouri or Texas A&M or Florida on the road. Uh, you know, someone could trip them up. So I think 10-2 is a pretty fair projection. Um, again, I say all the time, don't worry about all these individual games. It's really just about the overall record, and I think that overall record for Tennessee will be 10-2 in 2023. Give me your predictions, your thoughts on Tennessee down in the comments below.